what's been your method and motivation for continuing on, not just to go and strive and try to be successful anyway, because I think someone who's where you are, you have that thing where you're going to be successful. You just don't know how you're going to get there, but you yeah, want to do that. Very much so. And wherever, but specifically staying in music, right? Mm -hmm. What ups and downs. Oh yeah, I got two going? two key things. I don't know, I don't know is kept me going, but two key thing key things that saved me, that like that was I was able to keep going because I I adhered to these two things. Um, well, let's let's call it three. Um, the 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 first one I would say is contracts. You know what I mean? This this is a business where people change their mind, people you know people switch up, people forget. You know what I mean? And so contracts have been very valuable in my career. So I, I will always advise people when you're starting business, get it on paper. So contracts have saved me for sure. Um, the other two lessons come from Rich Dad Poor Dad. Um, the book. You guys should all read that. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to them. You guys, you guys should all read that book. Um, and there were two key principles in there. Um, are the reason that I've had my success and, and been able to sustain. Um, the first one being if you want to become wealthy, you have to learn how to serve people. You know what I mean? And so that's what I've done all my career is I, I've served artists. You know what I mean? Having an artist is is like having a child. You know what I mean? And no disrespect to artists, but that's literally what it's like. Um, you're you're raising them as your kid, damn near. And so I've I've served people and helped them realize their dreams. Um, and so that's what has made me successful is by making them successful. Let me take a quick second to say, if you're an artist trying to blow your music up, or if you're a manager, a music professional in general, trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you. And it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply, it's completely free, but the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. And there's the second thing um, and even more key is on the financial side. Rich Dad Poor Dad teaches you to only live off of 10% of your earnings. Um, so, you know, if you make and this is might not be practical to people, but if you make 100000 you want to be you want to have your living expenses under 10,000. You know what I mean? Um, and I can't say that I ever lived at, at 10 percent, but I've always lived extremely below, you know, I mean? extremely below. And, and that's very helpful, especially when it came to like um, finding a woman. You know what I mean? Because like when I first met my girl, um, my wife now, you know, I was raking in the money. Um, but as time went on, the money stopped. But because I never lived the way I could have lived, she never knew. Like there was a, a, a good three year span. I didn't make any new money. You know what I mean? But because I had so much savings and lived so well below my income, she she lived the same lifestyle and never knew I wasn't making new money. You know what I mean? And, and that's because of what Rich Dad Poor Dad taught me. Like I've always lived well below the amount of money I make. Um, you know, because there was times, you know, I could have had Lambos, mansions. I could have had all of that, but I had one car. You know what I mean? Uh, I stayed in the town. <laughs> so, and so, like, you know, and, and to her, she, you know, she looked at that. That was balling to her. You know what I mean? Like, well, you know, this, this thing got money. <laughs> yeah, but, but you know, I could have had way more. But, I, you know, luckily, like, I, I hear to that, to that teaching that I've always you know, live below my means and that saved me because like you said, the ups and downs of not not just the music business life. You know, my, my first lesson in the music business was this shit don't last forever. And that was when we got our first record deal um with Cadillac Dunn and J Money. It was inside peanut butter, outside jelly, it's a Mississippi track. Yeah. So we got we got our first record deal. That's this is how I left college. Um I was at nineteen years old. We got a record deal and my dad told me when I became successful I can leave college. I didn't want to go to college. He made me go. But so when I got that record deal, he let me leave. Um, we went on the road. 
about nine month run making at that time what I would consider hella money. You know what I mean? But I was spending it as I was getting it because in my mind, this is my new life. This is finna be forever. You know what I mean? But no, it lasted nine months. I came home with nothing because I spent everything I made. And so that was an early lesson. Like, okay, in music, you're going to be hot and you're going to be cold. You're going to be hot. You're going to be cold. You know what I mean? There's been so many cold years, but because I always lived under my means, the cold years look just like the hot years. You know what I mean? And that's what you want to, that's how you want to do it because it's going to be cold years, no matter what profession, career, whatever. You know what I mean? Life, life is ups and downs. Life is, you know what they say about the, 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 uh, the heart EG chart. It was like, when it's like this, you dead. Oh yeah. Flat yeah. Line. You, you flatline. So life is never going to be this. If it's like that, you dead. Life is always going to be this. You know what I mean? And so that lesson that Rich Dad Poor Dad taught me definitely saved my career because I would have been, you know, out. Yeah, that was a point where you couldn't return from. Yeah.